Okay, good morning, calculus class. So, uh, sorry about that. So, the previous video, there's a certain kind of error that I've made. So, I apologize right here. Uh, just for the Newton's law of cooling. So, for the, you know, the example, the error that I make. Okay, so, let's talk about this one once again. So, again, the Newton's law of cooling. So, the rate of change of the temperature of an object is directly proportional to the difference of object's temperature and the surrounding temperature. So, there's nothing wrong with this slide here. So the only error that I have, I'm sure that I pointed out previously too. So this one's supposed to be considered uh, TS. It's a surrounding temperature. And we don't need to use the absolute value for this. So this one, so just get rid of the absolute value. So let me just rewrite it here. So this one, uh, the correct equation is supposed to be capital T of little t. So that equals the quantity of the initial temperature minus the surrounding temperature. So times e to the power of kT and then plus TS. So this one's supposed to be the surrounding temperature instead of being the initial temperature again. So for the back to the rate of change, so the D capital T, so that means the change of the temperature over D little t, so that's the change of the time. So that equals constant times the quantity of the final temperature minus the surrounding temperature. So now let's go back to that example again. So this time we'll fix that. So again, it's about the drink, so let's just do the notation first. So 5 degrees Celsius, so this one is considered the initial temperature. So let's put in initial IT, okay? So initial temperature. And then after 25 minutes, so this one is the time it takes to uh, warm up the drink. So in the room of 20 degrees, so this one, again, the one that I put in here, Previously, I put in that as the final temperature, but this one's supposed to be the surrounding temperature because that's the room temperature. And then, and the final temperature is TF, or just T, which is 10 degrees Celsius, okay? So now, in order to solve for K, we need to find out that the rate of change of the temperature of the drink. So the way to find it, it's the final temperature, so it's supposed to be 10 minus 5. So the way that I did it previously, I did it like 20 minus 5, I think. So it's supposed to be 10 minus 5 over the change of the time. So the change of time is 25 minutes. So that equals the constant K times the quantity of the initial temperature, 5, minus the surrounding temperature, so 20. So basically, I'm just using the first equation, the first equation that I introduced early. OK, so the first one. <clears throat> so that means 10 minus 5, so it's 5 over 25, so we got 1 fifth. And then 5 minus 20, so that's negative 15, so we got negative 15K. So the way to solve for K, we divided by negative 15 on both sides, so we got K equals negative 1 over 45. Okay, so negative 1 over 45. So what's the temperature of the drink after 15 minutes? So we just want to put it into the, uh, the second equation. So T capital T. Again, the difference of the initial temperature minus the surrounding temperature. We got negative 15 times e to the power of K. So negative 1 over 45 times little t plus the surrounding temperature. So the surrounding temperature, which is 20 degrees. Okay, so the time it takes is what, 15 minutes, so we plug in the time. So it's written as negative 15. Again, this one is the difference of that uh, surrounding temperature and the uh, initial temperature of the drink. So e to the power of negative 1 over 45 times the time, so the time which is 15 minutes, and then plus 20. So let's find out what that is on the calculator. Okay, so clear all this. So negative 15 times second base e to the power of negative 50 over 45. So that will give you uh, divided by 5, top and the bottom. So you got negative 10 over 9. So negative 10 over 9. And then from there, plus 20. Okay, so in, eventually, so the drink... Okay, so it looks like it's the exact same result as what we found out earlier. So that one, it's 
Okay, so that one is 15.06 degrees Celsius. Okay, so negative 15 times e to the power of negative 50 over 45. Again, that's negative 10 over 9. I'll do reduce it. And then plus 20. Okay, so now let's find out when would the temperature be 15 degrees Celsius. So again, those two numbers, they're pretty close. So 15 degrees Celsius, that's going to be the final temperature. So that equals negative 15. And then e to the power of negative 1 over 45 times the time. Okay, so just find out what that is. So 15 divided by negative 15. And that is going to be considered negative 1. So e to the power of negative 1 over 45. T. Yeah, but the thing is that it's a negative number. So we cannot just simply take the natural log of a negative number. So that doesn't make sense. So there's something wrong with um, the setup for part B right here. So don't worry about that part B yet. So we just get rid of that part B. So I just want you to do A first. Okay. So by the time that we're going back to school, and then we're going to go back to this problem once again. So again, there's something wrong with the setup for part B. Okay, so just focus on that part A right here. Okay, so make sure that you just watch this uh, video again and just do part A. Okay, thank you.